This is my first time doing anything like this, and uh, it's nerve-wracking because I, I have to think about who I am rather than think about whoever my subject matter is in my songs. So uh, yeah, it, it's required a bit of uh, introspection on my part, which is always scary. <laughs> I'd like you to connect your response to how you decided to leave law school and pursue a life of a full-time musician. I didn't know that I loved music. I just know that it was there and I absorbed it. My parents uh, played a lot of music in our little um, one bedroom <coughs> flat in London when I was growing up. Um, I like to think of myself as a singer-songwriter first before thinking of myself as a jazz artist or soul singer or world singer although I've been accused of all three of those crimes uh, so they're, they're in there but I, I tend to want to concentrate more on uh, the way I fashion what I'm saying more than just you know uh, honoring a particular genre there's a lot that's um, beautiful and at the same time troubling about the world um, and those tend to be the sorts of things that I that I write about I mean, this last album was uh, very Afrocentric it was very much about Africa and my reflections on the ten years I spent in Nigeria and what that means for my sense of self or my sense of otherness you know. um, but uh, I, I begin to feel like the next album will be more outwardly looking you know, at stuff that's going on around us right now.